Welcome back to our MSIX series. Today, we'll take a detailed look at the architecture of MSIX, its key components, and how it integrates with Windows. So let's explore its unique container model, discuss how it benefits more than application deployment, and provide practical examples. So Microsoft introduced MSIX in 2018 as an enhanced version of the Apex package, uh, which was initially used for universal Windows platform apps, the UDWP apps, and MSIX was designed to better support traditional desktop applications on Windows 10. So it combines the best features of an MSI and AV package along with the desktop bridge program to create a versatile and modern packaging format. So what we can take as an introduction for MSIX is that it has enhanced version of Apex, it supports traditional desktop apps on Windows 10, and combines features of MSI and AppV. The MSIX package structure is similar to Apex, or AppV packages more or less. Essentially, an MSIX package is a zip file containing application files and configuration XML files. MSIX supports the latest development trends and provides significant compatibility with older Windows 32 applications, including traditional x86 and x64 unmanaged code apps and .NET framework-based applications. So, structurally, an MSIX package is straightforward. It includes the necessary application files, bundled together with configuration details, and this design makes it easy to deploy applications using familiar tools like SCCM or Intune. Moreover, these packages can be published to the Microsoft Store, are made available for direct download, leveraging new advantages for modern Windows APIs. So for example, here this is a note, the notes application and if we open it for example with 7-zip right here we have all the necessary files right we have our apex metadata right this is the code integrity right we have the different assets these are the assets for the store logo uh, splash screen so forth and so on so all your icons etc your application icon that appears here right and then these are all the files. And if we check here, uh, we will have the Apex manifest, the Apex blob map, and Apex signature. In the Apex manifest, it's where everything is kept as a configuration level. The MSIX package allows you to manage applications more efficiently by separating application files from the operating system, thereby reducing conflicts and improving system stability. This separation is one of the core strengths of MSIX, enabling smoother updates and enhanced security, and why not a better uninstallation experience. So the core feature of MSIX is actually its container model, because the application runs inside a lightweight container known as Helium, by Microsoft, similar to containers used by services like Docker. This MSIX runtime environment ensures applications are isolated, enhancing security and compatibility. The MSIX container can bring together different programming models. First, you have your MSIX package applications. These applications run with full trust within the container. Next, you have your desktop bridge applications, which utilize file and registry virtualization and UDWP apps which use a capability model to interact with the system. All these models share the container but do not necessarily support the same features. Classic Windows 32 applications converted to MSIX have runtime functionalities that UDWP apps do not due to a special capability called run full trust in the manifest. This capability grants the application certain permissions within the container without requiring UAC elevation. If we open up Advanced Installer, go to MSIX and start a new MSIX package, right here in the files and folders, let me add something. Okay, and let's say that my shortcut or application, as it's called, is compiled and is this app finder. Now, if we go to capabilities, you have here your full trust, which allows access to all these resource types that you have here. 
Now, unlike traditional installations that can impact various system locations, adding an MSIX or UDWP package to the system primarily keeps everything within the container. The exposed resources are defined in the package manifest, giving you more control over system impacts. An MSIX package can natively install the following resources. Files, which are essential application files and resources. Registry, which is managed through an application hive visible only within the container. Custom fonts used by the application. Tiles, which are replacing the traditional shortcuts for a modern look. Services that can run outside of the container but are managed by it. Component object model components. File associations and handling of specific URL protocols. Let's take a closer look at the MSIX package layout. Uh, now the common structure includes several key components. For this, I want to open up another sample MSIX that I did a while back. Let's open it with 7-zip and let's try to understand what all represents. Now the assets folder contains graphical assets, ensuring that the application adapts well to different screens or resolution. The VFS folder, which I don't have it here, this typically holds application binaries like DLLs, executables, um, overlaying system folders to create a unified application environment. So the VFS folder holds actually the application itself, the binaries, mapping them to the system locations so that the application perceives itself as being installed in traditional system folders like program files. The virtual file system folder also mapped application files to known system locations, ensuring seamless integration. So for example, let's say I have here a folder, something like VFS, and inside that folder you have a program files something like this you have your program files x64 now this maps to our c program files this is the mapping you can also have program files x86 and this will actually map to the program files x86 um, different vfs folders uh, represent standard system locations such as program files this is one example you also have documents uh, which maps to the current users documents folders windows which maps to c windows fonts which maps to c windows fonts and so forth and so on next the apex manifest file now this file is crucial as it defines the application, its features, its behavior, and this includes the applications which are installed by the package, uh, any, any package declarations and capabilities, or even dependencies for other MSIX packages. So the core resource defining the application installation and runtime behavior is kept within this file. If we extract this file and have a look over it, let's have a look with Notepad, we can see here uh that this is of course an xml file you also have some namespaces here now keep in mind each namespace might add some additional features that were not present in a in a previous namespace next you have your identity names uh this is uh, the actual certificate which signs uh, the package the certificate name the publisher so forth and so on uh, you have your publisher display name, um, your actual application display name, what logo should it use, what language will the um, application use. Uh, also, you can define your capabilities, right? Uh, remember, we have many capabilities we, which we can define here, right? Um, app capture settings, appointments, chat messages, um, Bluetooth, radios, blah, 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 blah. And this is the full trust, right? Which allows access to all the resource types. Um, next, you have your applications um, here. Uh, this application section is actually, let's call it like the shortcut folder that we are used to um, in a standard way, in the standard naming, right? So here is where you will define your applications or shortcuts, however we want to define them. And as you can see here, you have your entry point. I know this executable here you have your ai stub x64 um, this is something proprietary to advanced installer we will have a look over it in a later video 
just know that when you will install this uh, MSIX package, in your star menu, you will have a sample MSIX shortcut or application, however we want to call it. And this will point to the AI stub and the AI stub will open the actual application, uh, which in this case, I think it's hello world .dxe. What the AI stub does and few short sentences, the AI stub might add some additional capabilities like the package support framework or additional operations that we added in advanced installer such as running a bat file or something like that right so this is what AI stop does next you have your visual elements for this application um, the name the logo so forth and so on and that's pretty much it this is a very simple sample package good now the msix container also virtualizes the registry uh, using an application hive to isolate registry entries. The main registry files in an MSIX package are registry.dat, which contains the local machine and current user registry entries. You can also have user.dat file, which contains user specific registry entries, or users.classes.dat which contains the current user software classes entries in the registry. These entries are not written directly to the system registry, but are mapped to the application's view of the registry. Now, this prevents registry bloat and reduces system conflicts, making the system much more stable and efficient. Keep in mind, when you install an MSIX package, and you have a registry. This registry will not be always loaded. The registry is loaded when you launch your application. This is why, unlike MSIs or executables or other previous packaging technologies that we are used to, we are used to save certain system settings or implement certain system settings within the registry files. And we are used to the fact that if we install that particular MSI package or EXE or whatever, that setting will be reflected all the time on the system. Now, in the case of MSIX, this is not possible. Not only will that registry will not be actually written in a registry hive, you also have the problem that it's not always loaded. So it's not always there. Only when the application is launched does this registry dot that or users dot that or user classes that are loaded into the hive separately from the actual registry that you have. Furthermore, debugging the containerized registry can be done using tools like regedit which are launched inside the container or by using a powershell command for example you can use the invoke command in desktop package powershell commandlet to run commands inside the package container keep in mind that advanced installer also offers a free tool called hover uh, in which you can actually do debuggings on containerized registry and files you can run commands inside installed msix packages and so forth and so on i will put a link in the description if if you want to check it out it's free to use it's free to download so have fun with it next file we need to have a look over is the apex block map which lists all the app binaries and their hashes for integrity checks and differential updates we also have our resources.pry uh, which contains app resources like localized strings and apex signature dot p7x this is the file that holds the digital signature information for any package contents now in terms of os integration msix packages integrate with the os by defining resources in the app manifest file rather than through direct registry modifications this approach ensures cleaner and more controlled integration with the system if we have a look over the os uh, integration diagram. Common integrations include file type associations, protocol handlers, and COM components. These, all these integrations must be declared in the manifest to be recognized by the OS. By default, MSIX packages are installed in the program files Windows apps folder, and this location is managed by the OS and it's not directly accessible to the users. Each installed application gets a unique folder name derived from its manifest. Now, of course, I can do this in my virtual sandbox machine here. Let's see if we have this, but we should have that specific and that specific folder. So let's open up our sandbox and go to SPC program files. And this one is hidden. Let's see where do we have the options view 
hidden files and folders, blah, blah, blah. Yes, uncheck everything. And we have our Windows apps. And in this case, I have permissions to enter. So for example, let's say we have, I don't know, an application called Microsoft Windows Calculator. I don't know, this is just an example. This might be installed in a folder named microsoft.windowscalculator underscore version underscore architecture underscore hash, right? Here, Microsoft, this is the publisher. Then you have your application name. Name, then you have your application version, your architecture, and a hash. This structure ensures that applications are neatly organized and isolated. Now, these are just some discussions here. We are not going to go much into detail, but MSIX also comes with the app attach option for VDIs. So the app attach is a technology for, the, for delivering desktop applications in virtual environments, uh, particularly in Windows Virtual Desktop. It uses virtual hard disks, VHDs, to store MSIX packages, which are mounted at user login, providing a seamless application experience. With MSIX app attach, applications are dynamically attached to user sessions, making them available without traditional installation. This approach offers significant benefits for virtual desktop infrastructures, improving scalability and management while also maintaining the application isolation. Let's also talk a little bit about an uninstallation and cleanup. This is one of the key advantages of MSIX, is the fact that you can have a clean uninstallation process. Unlike traditional MSI or EXE or whatever other types of installers out there, which can leave behind residual files and registry entries, MSIX ensures that all components are removed upon an installation, which reduces the system clutter and maintaining performance. Uninstallation removes all files, registry entries, and settings associated with the app, leaving the system as it was before the application was installed. This helps avoid the dreaded Windows rot that can slow down PCs over time. And keep in mind, when I'm telling about settings associated with the app, I mean even if the application creates new files in the local app data folder, those will be automatically deleted during uninstallation. Now, as a summary for this video, MSIX is a powerful modern packaging format that enhances application deployment with its secure container model, seamless OS integration, and efficient management of system resources. As we continue to explore MSIX in this series, we'll delve deeper into its components and practical applications. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more insights into MSIX packaging. Join us in the next video as we will explore MSIX tooling for IT pros and developers. See you next time. Bye bye.